Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be covering part two of my Mystic Arts testing. If you didn't see my last video, I covered Swords, Kasuri Gamas, Omnio Magic, and Ninja. And today I'm going to be covering Axes, Spears, and Dual Swords. Um, so if you're new to the channel, if you've never seen anything by me before, or if you like the videos and haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button. It really helps me out a bunch, and it lets me know that you like the testing I'm doing. Sash. Feel the southern light rip my brand is blew up the kid now he doing damage you ought to know like my name's Atlanta said on me take a seat young Christopher Hansen I sweat all day just to... all right so first off we're gonna start off with spears and the uh, one I want to start off with is called stability and what this does is it prevents you from ricocheting off of walls when you're using spear thrusts and you know it it works um, this isn't something that you know you encounter all the time. It is helpful in some situations, but the main thing that I really wanted to test with this would be the range um, increase from the spears. And this one, it was pretty underwhelming. Uh, didn't really get a gigantic difference. Uh, it was not very noticeable. Whenever I'm using the spear and I use this specific mystic art, I didn't feel the difference. And the reason why is because it is such a small difference in range percentage. I think it's right around 5 to 6% of an increase that you get when you're running this Mystic Art. So, honestly, in my opinion, this is probably the weaker of the two Mystic Arts for Spears. Mainly because of that range um, increase. It is not really too much to, you know, bank on. It's not going to get you far enough away from your enemies to really make too much of a difference and you know it's just very underwhelming uh, as you can see I tested this in two different with the skill and without the skill and I just kinda inch my way forward until I hit the enemy and then I register it and then I do a side-by-side -side in slow-mo so you can see the difference between the two in the left hand side of the comparison uh, the camera is zoomed in just a little bit more um, you can kinda tell that whenever you're watching it and that is the one where the Mystic Art is equipped. Um, so, like, it is a 5 to 6% increase here. And you really can't tell much of a difference. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. The second one is called Fluidity. And this allows you to do spear stance changes um, in any stance. And this really is helpful. It allows you to link combos together. Just use a whole bunch of whoop-ass and move on. So this is the one I would choose for spears. Okay, next off, we're going with axes. And the first one that I tested was called intensity. And what this does is it allows you to do more damage when you are about to run out of key and completely run out of key. So if, if you're getting close to your enemy and you're running out of key and you hit them, you get a 98% damage increase when you are using this. Um, it's really clunky. It doesn't work very well. Um, if you think about it, if it takes 9 or 10 hits to deplete your key enough to hit them, then you're real realistically only getting like a 9% increase in damage. It's not very good. The second one I tested was called Inner Light. And what this is, is if you are standing in the Yokai realm, you get a 50% increase to your damage. This one's much better for axes because you can manipulate this a lot easier. If you have yokai pots, just throw them underneath them. You can stack a pool underneath them and then just, you know, tear ass until they're dead. <laughs> so this is the one I would choose in the axis category. It's a little bit uh, less clunky. It still is a little bit harder to get into that range to hit them, but it's better than intensity. So following this, I went to dual swords. And this one was pretty hard to test. Um, took me a little bit of time and I do a side-by-side -side comparison between the two but the first one that I tested was called momentum and what this does is anytime you hit an enemy it helps refresh your key so you're using a lot less key and it's building back up as you're going and this is this is pretty amazing um, it does a lot of good you keep probably about 60 percent more of your key when you're using this and as you can see here in the side-by-side -side in just a second 
I, 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 from the very first hit, I matched the frames, and you can see how much of a key depletion there is when you are not using this as compared to when you are using this. So this is probably the best one out of the two, um, just because if you look here, you can watch on the right hand side that we are not using this mystic art and we are just burning through key very very quickly. Um, the second part is called firm resolve and what this does is it gives you a defense buff whenever you hit the enemy. And the first hit is 10% and it stacks multiplicatively on top of itself. So if you hit them more than once that 10% will stack but just remember, multiplicative is not very good for defense. It will actually, you know, decrease the value every single time. It's different than with damage because you're actually getting less of a number for that percentage to affect. So, uh, that makes it, it it's alright. You can use buffs that completely destroy this. And the worst part about it is it only has a 5 second buff. That is it. That is the entire window. You have five seconds to enjoy that extra defense kicker, and after that it is completely done, and you might as well just hang it up. Um, if you expect to get hit within the next five seconds, this might work well for you, but if you're one of those people who like to get away, you're probably never going to get any of the benefits of using this Mystic Art. Um, well, that's going to do it for the video today. If you liked it, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you on the next one. Till next time.